YouTube, what's going on? I'm your boy, Agent the Barber, and today I'm about to release some exclusive content right here on my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are ready for this, man, because this is something you can't find anywhere else on the internet. Whoa, whoa, whoa let me slow down. You can find it somewhere else on the internet, but you ain't gonna find it nowhere for free. I'm giving it to you for free today. So with that being said, there's no more going spending $500, $600, $700, learning how to do man weaves, having to travel all over the country. I'm about to give you the whole game right here for free. And no, this isn't gonna be a sit somebody down, bald head, and then I'll set them a flash to a full head of hair. I'm about to show you guys everything. I'm gonna give you the full details. I'm gonna show you every product that you need to successfully do your first man weave. Now this is just gonna be one of the many hair replacement videos I'm gonna be doing. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the Afro unit, um, but I'm gonna show you guys everything I know about man weave. So if you make sure you subscribe to the channel so you always stay updated um, with all the, all the fresh new content that I'm putting out. I'm not sure how often right now I'm be putting out man weave videos. This is just the first one, but I'm thinking maybe two a month or, so, or something like that. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that button, hit that notification bell so you're always updated every time I put out fresh content. Like I said, I'm gonna be showing you guys everything I know about man weaves and everything I know about barbering in general. Um, so with that being said, let me go ahead and release the secret. The first thing I'm doing in this video is I'm gonna show you all the products you need. And if you got any questions about them, I'm gonna put all those products down in the description box below. And I'm gonna have links where you can go and buy everything you need to get your first man weave done. Also leave comments if you got questions or add me on Instagram. And I'll be happy to answer any questions and help you guys along the way. So let's go ahead and get into this video. So to get started with the products, the first thing you're gonna need is a wide tooth comb. The next thing you're gonna need are these black wig caps. Third item on the list is you're gonna need black styling wraps. So just like the white neck strips we use on every client, these are the same similar sort of thing, but you know, you, you'll find them more in like a salon. Um, I don't know too much about them, but I know that you need them for man weaves. Next, you're gonna need two different types of glues. Um, this is Ghost Bond, this is a lace wig glue. Um, when it comes to man weaves, hair replacements, this is the best glue that I've used, and I've used probably three or four different types of lace wig glues. Um, another glue that you're going to need for this specific unit is going to be the Super uh, Hair Bond. It's the black hair glue. Next item you're going to need, don't get freaked out, it's a little weird because when I first found out you need electrical tape, I was like, what in the hell do I need to use electrical tape for when I'm cutting hair? But you need electrical tape, so make sure you get yourself some electrical tape. Another product you're gonna need is this is a lace wig bond skin protectant. So you put this on before you put the other glue on and just protects the skin. You're also gonna need some sort of hair enhancement. Uh, for instance, I use Kiss Express, but you can use like high beam spray, black ice, any of those sprays that you prefer, you're welcome to use. The other item you're gonna need is a eyebrow pencil, lip pencil. And now when it comes to the hair that you're gonna use, for this particular unit, there's two different types of hair you're gonna use. This one is a Cuban Twist, um, a Cuban Twist brand. And don't pay attention to like it says 12 inches or whatever, you don't gotta pay attention to that. The other hair that I'm gonna use is the Milky Way Q Twirl. Now, like I said before, all those products are linked down in the description. If you got any questions, make sure you contact me. But let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, all right, let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm gonna be sitting here watching this video with you again as I do in all my videos now. Um, I got my client sitting in the chair. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut his hair down. This video, I'm gonna speed through the haircutting process just because I wanna show you guys everything when it comes to installing the unit on your client. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna uh, cut the left side of his head. I'm gonna skip the guideline. You know how I make my guidelines. I take my wall detailers, um, ball it out, and then I fade up from there. So. First thing is always combing his hair out. Um, you want to keep as much hair on top as you possibly can. With this longer unit, um, as you can see how much hair my client has, this is ideal um, when it comes to you as a beginner, this is the ideal length of hair that you want to do this after unit. When you get it more when you get more advanced and you can learn other little tricks and things when it comes to hair replacements, then you can start working with people that have lower hair. Um, but at the same time, there is a fade unit that I'll eventually show you guys. And you can, I mean, it really doesn't matter the hair length when you get into that unit. Um, so with this, I'm starting out. I got my zero guard on. You see, I made my guide, or you didn't see, but I made my guide on my wall detailers. And now with my zero guard on my masters, I'm just gonna go make my second guide line. And then I'm gonna work my way up and blend the hair into the top. 
skin, trying to keep as much of the hair on top as possible because once you get the unit on, you can always come back and you can cut that down and blend it in a little bit more. But you rather work with work with more so then you don't get to the point to where you put your unit on and it looks super fake because you cut too much of the hair off on the sides. So I did, I did feel like the haircut part was important to show you guys, even though, I mean, I got a ton of other haircut tutorials that show probably the same haircut, but at the same time, um, you know, when you get into the units, you understand that the haircut is an important part because if you mess the haircut part up, then the unit is not, not going to look real at all. Again, this is the only part of this video I'm going to speed through. Um, I'm still going to give you a little bit of coaching. Uh, I got my number one guard on here now. It's just going to continue to blend up into the top. Uh, for this particular client, it's just the same as so the long on the sides. Um, I'm going to use my number two guard as well to help blend that into the top. So just a little background on this unit. Um, this one, I let my clients know that this lasts anywhere from six to eight weeks. Depending on how well you do the unit and how well they take care of the unit, um, really depends on how long it's gonna last. Now, I've had clients that, you know, units have only lasted one day because they went home and they tried to take a shower and shampoo their hair after I've instructed them not, not to go do that. But um, like I said, you can only tell them, you know, what they're supposed to do and hope that they go and, you know, um, do, what, do what they need to get their money's worth because I mean when, when you're spending your time doing this type of unit You're charging people anywhere from 200 to 400 dollars just kind of depending on you know where you're at and You know what your clientele is like Now I got my number two guard on here And I'm just blending this up into the top again trying to keep as much hair on top as possible Because um, I can always come back and I can always blend that in more when I when I get to uh, installing the unit Now, no guard on my masters. Um, again, uh, if you're using detachable clippers, equal to a 3-0 blade, you just go in and knock out this bottom line, um, fade it all up into the top. Now my hope with this video is I can save all you guys some money um, and a plane ticket because you know to, to go to these classes and you know this stuff's not cheap, man. Uh, you have to fly across the country. You know if the people who's teaching is not you know close by to where you're at. And uh, you know yeah, I'm putting it all out right here on my YouTube. I'll be releasing um, the low fade unit. I'll be doing the wave unit. Uh, the Odell Beckham blonde hair on top, the dreads. I'll be doing all those hair replacement units um, here coming out in the future. So make sure if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel because believe me, you're not gonna want to miss all these transformations I'm about to do, man. Like I'm putting out, I'm putting out everything I know about hair replacements. Now just working, working that blade up. Um, got my masters all the way open. You know, just finishing out this blend up into the top to what I already blended out. Keeping my clippers flush to the head. Now I got my shaver. I'm just gonna go in, do some fine detailing, um, and get that fade down to all the way to the skin. Now this is the only side of the haircut I'm gonna show you. I'll show you the, the finished haircut before I get into doing the, uh, actually installing the unit. But I didn't want to spend too much time showing you guys a haircut, um, just because I want to save the time, like I said, for the unit. It's kind of a long video, so. Appreciate you guys tuning in, coming to spend 40 minutes with me today. All right, now to start the man weave, uh, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my wall magic clips. Uh, I picked these clippers just because I started using them when I first started doing man weaves, and the synthetic hair is hard on your clippers, so you wanna make sure you got some old clippers, some clippers that you don't use a lot, um, that you don't care about beating up because it's gonna be tough on the blades. Um, like I said, I wouldn't use your best clippers to go ahead and do the man weave process to cut the hair down right here. You can really use anything, but now I just use the magic clips just because, like I said, they're my designated man weave clippers. Uh, I'm just going to close the blade all the way, uh, three zero, and I'm just going to, you don't have to take it all the way down to the skin. I've actually did this unit with, with people who've already had hair, who had short hair, who want to see what they look like, um, you know, if they had an afro or if they had the twist sponge look. Um, but 
for instance, with him, I'm gonna cut it all the way down. I'm gonna do this the right way to show you guys, you know, the right way you should be doing it to get the maximum amount of um, wear time out of the unit. So you see, I cut his top down. Um, I left as much hair as possible around the sides. And now I'm gonna take my eyeliner pencil and I'm gonna draw his hairline on. So this is probably the most important part of the process, just because if you don't get this line straight when you go through and you put the hair on to finish the hair, to line it up after you put the hair on, then the hairline is going to be crooked. So if this isn't straight, you know, don't don't move on past this process unless the line is straight. Now for me in this video, it was tough just because I was coming at a crazy angle because um, I couldn't be standing right in front of the camera draw the line on so, you can, so I can show you guys. So it took me a few tries um, to get his line right at the, at the angle that I was drawing it at. Super important right here, make sure you use your mirror. Um, with this, the man we've unit, you can put a hairline wherever you want. You're gonna have people that come in, they want you to put their hairline down at their eyebrows just because they're gonna be so happy to have a hairline again. But um, my advice to you, make it, put it in a place that's as natural as possible. The whole thing with this, is that we want to make it look real. We don't want to. We don't want to give somebody like make it look like they're wearing a toupee. So to make it look as real as possible, um, man, just consult with your client and find you know get ideally what they would like their where they would like their hairline to be, and you know throw them your suggestion on where you think it should be, and then you know try to come up with a solution on where you guys are going to put it. But like I said, you're going to get clients that come and they're going to want their hairline in crazy places that they never even had hair when they had hair. So, um, like I said, try to make it as natural as possible. Get it as straight as you possibly can before you move on. Um, like I said, I can't even stress that, the importance of that just because, you know, that, that would throw your whole unit off if it's not right. And then before we actually get into applying any glues or any skin protectants or anything like that, we got to clean the surface. Um, again, unit lasts, you know, anywhere six to eight weeks. So if I want to get that full six to eight weeks out of it, I got to do the process correctly. And the preparation on the scalp, um, when you cut the hair down low, um, that's going to help the hair, that's going to help the unit last longer. And then before you apply any glues and anything, you want to, you want a clean surface that you can work with. All right, now I'm going to take my um, skin protectant and I'm just going to place it everywhere that he doesn't have hair that I'm going to put in the loop. Um, the skin protectant, I'm just protecting the skin from the glue. It is what it says it is. You put it on, you can either let it air dry or you can take your blow dryer, you know, and you, you can dry with the blow dryer just to speed up the, the processing time. Again, like I said, just applying it everywhere that, you know, there's possibly going to be glue. You don't want to just put the glue straight on your client's head and hopefully, you know, you don't have a client that has an allergic reaction to any of the products that you're going to use. But it's always good to you know go over the products that you're using with your clients just to make sure that everything is covered. Now I'm gonna take my Ghost Bond Lace Free Glue, and if you guys didn't see the beginning of the video, um, all the products that I'm using in this video are down in the description below, so you can go down there if you have any questions and find all the products that I'm using. And now I'm just gonna make a circle around the head, and what I'm doing with this glue is I'm not gonna spread it around or anything. Um, this is to help the wrap stay in place. So yeah, I'll be placing my black hair wrap around this, as you'll see in a second. And um, you know, this is, this is going to be the base for where my unit starts. This unit also is, is moisture resistant, so um, it's not recommended to like go swimming or get in the shower and actually shampoo your hair or anything like that. But if you do, you know, if you if you have somebody that likes to go to the gym, um, you know, in, in, anything like that, um, people have swam in them before. But like I said, that's not recommended to get the full six to eight weeks out of it. But like I said, going to the gym, normal wear and tear, uh, sweating, anything like that, this unit is gonna hold up to that. And now that black hair wrap, they're long. They're, you're not gonna use the whole thing all the time. Um, but, you know, for instance, right here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off whatever was uh, too long. And then I'm going to take my black hair glue, put a few drops on the inside, and I'm just going to lay the rest of that wrap down. Now, uh, 
with this client in particular, I'm working, I'm working with a smaller space. Sometimes you'll get clients that might not have hair up that high on top. And so you might have to cut, you know, all of this down all the way back past the crown. And you'll have a bigger, a bigger area to cover. So if you have somebody like that, then you're probably going to use the whole black hair wrap. Um, and I suggest getting just the standard size ones that are like the same size as the, uh, like the Sonic neck strips that we use because, uh, I mean, once you get, like, they got the black hair wraps that are, like, fat. And, you, like, I, I, use, I try to use those sometimes, but you're just cutting the whole wrap. It's, it's a waste of your money and a waste of a wrap. There's too big to work with. Um, so, you see, just put the drops around, and then I'm going to press the uh, wrap down because I want that wrap to be flat. And then you can take your blow dryer and you come in. Um, anytime you use your blow dryer with the man weave process, always use it on, on cool on, on cool air. You never want to put any heat to it because the glue is going to melt the glues um, and it's going to it's going to mess up the, the amount of time that your unit is going to last. Now people are paying a lot of money for these. You want to make sure you do the process right because you want them to keep coming back to you, and then you don't want the unit to fall off you know the next day because you didn't do it correctly and now you got to give their money back um i haven't had that happen not for my error i've had them make errors and they come in i'll fix it for them but again make sure you do the process correctly and take your time now i just got my blow dryer just just drying it and you want to make sure that it's dry to the touch um so now you can take your black hair cap and you're just going to put it over your client's head and you're going to pull it all the way down so make sure you get this black hair cap as tight as you can all the way down on top of that wrap that you just put on. And then you're gonna take your black hair glue and you're just gonna make a circle around it. You'll see here, um, this process. And so the goal here is to get this wrap, or just to get the cap to adhere to the wrap. Get the cap to adhere to the wrap. So you see, I'm just gonna make a circle, just going just in the same direction that I just you know put the wrap on. And then I'll come through, just make a plus sign, a one vertical line, one horizontal line going across. And right now what I'm doing, I'm just kind of just patting that glue down because I want that glue to go through the cap onto the black hair wrap so those are stuck together. Because what I'm gonna do is cut this wrap off. I'm gonna cut the cap off. Cat wrap, I keep getting confused, man. So you see, make my horizontal line. Now I'm gonna go through, make my vertical line. And then you're gonna take your blow dryer again, and you're gonna come in and you're gonna dry this. Before you cut this cap off, make sure the glue is dry. If you try to cut it off before the glue is dry, the whole thing's gonna come off. You're gonna be restarting all the way from the beginning with the wrap, put a new wrap, put a new glue, and Lace wig glue is tough to get off. Um, if you're trying, if you are trying to get it off, make sure you have alcohol that's at least 91% or stronger. Um, if you can get 100% rubbing alcohol, that's even better. But yeah, and just patting the glue down, like I said, patting it through that cap onto the wrap, drying it, and getting all the way dry to the touch before I move on. gonna go in and I'm just gonna cut that wrap off. Another thing, like I said earlier, use old clippers, get a pair of old shears and use old shears. Um, or just some cheap shears. But do not use your thousand dollar shears, five hundred dollar shears on this process. Like I said, the synthetic hair, all the stuff you're cutting, um, it's not good, it's gonna dull the blades out. And trust trust me when I tell you that. I know somebody's gonna go, they're gonna take their thousand dollar pair of shears they just bought. They're gonna go start cutting these caps and cutting this synthetic hair, and they're gonna be dull. So, I warn you. So, now you see, I got the cap adhered to the wrap. And if any of that cap is still hanging up or anywhere, you just take some of your black hair glue, put it on, put it down, use your blow dryer, dry it off real quick. So, you see, that process is done. 
Now we're gonna get in, I'm gonna take my electrical tape. And the electrical tape is for your hairline. So I like to take two pieces. Um, unless, somebody, unless somebody has a small hairline, like just a straight, I'll use one piece and put it on there. But when they get the longer hairlines and they start to curve, it's hard to take one piece of tape and put one piece of tape on perfectly on the curved hairline. So what I'll do is I'll make two, I'll come in and I'll cross them. And then um, you see I got a little bit of space open in the beginning in the front right there. But you'll see what I do here in just one second. So now I'm back with my ghost bond blue, ghost bond blue, and you see all that open space that I have right here where the cap is not um, covering. I'm just gonna put glue. Uh, I highly suggest going and investing in like a, a big box of popsicle sticks. I've been using combs and like with lace wig glue, this stuff's so sticky. And I'm telling you, like you, you're not gonna be able to use your combs anymore because everything that touches them is gonna stick to them. So I've been using these combs and I just throw them away after that. These are good combs too. But you see, I'm just smoothing it out. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, I put kind of a lot on. I, I wouldn't recommend using that much, but I want to make sure I get the whole area covered. And I'm just gonna smooth it all the way across. You really want to be like a nice, thin, even layer so that it dries evenly. Um, if you start getting a whole bunch everywhere, because like I said, this ghost bond, it dries clear. And so you wanna put the, you wanna put the hair on when it starts to become more tacky. And right away, it's not gonna be tacky, so the hair's not gonna stick right away. So after I put that on, you see I just remove my electrical tape, and now I'm gonna take these shears, and I'm gonna go in just like I would a straight razor at the end of a haircut, and I'm just gonna even out uh, the line, just straighten up the line. And that glue, that ghost bond, if you do it right away, that ghost bond's gonna come right up off his head, and you get a nice straight line. So now the Cuban twist hair that I showed you in the beginning of the video, and as well right here, um, I'm just gonna take one strand of that, and you're gonna kind of fluff it out. Um, let the ghost bond dry a little bit. You see how it's not totally white like it just was. Um, you still see a little white, but now it's clear, so it's starting to dry. So this is when it's the most tacky, and I'm just gonna place it right on the front of his hairline where I, where I drew that line. So everywhere I had glue, that white ghost bond glue is where this hair is going to go and then you're going to have the excess hair that comes off go get two little dreads cut those off so yeah this is the hairline portion of the man weave unit the hair is different than the hair that we use when we're doing the, uh, the top of the head so we'll be getting into that here in just one second So with this hair, like I said, place it on, leave it, take your blow dryer, you can dry it a little bit. With Ghost Bond, try not to dry it too much with the, with the blow dryer because I have heard if you dry it with the blow dryer that it dries back white and we want it to dry back clear. So now we're about to get into putting the hair on the top of the head on. Um, that's gonna be my Milky Way Q twirl. And as you see in the video, what I'm doing is the black hair glue also doesn't dry right away. So um, what I always do is I always cover that whole black hair wrap, that ha black hair cap with um, the black hair glue. And then I'll let that dry for a little bit while I'm prepping my hair. Um, for timing purposes, it's good to have your hair prepped in advance. Um, it's gonna speed your whole process up because really you can take your blow dryer and dry this glue a little bit. Um, like I said, the black hair glue is not going to dry right away, so if you try to put a track on, that track is going to fall off. Um, so like I said, put it on, let it dry a little bit to a point where it gets tacky, and you can take your track and put it right on, it just sticks right away. And then, um, also you have to split the tracks, and I'm going to show you guys that here right now. Um, how to split the tracks, how to prep the Milky Way Q twirl hair so that you're ready, um, to go and you place it on top of the head. So again, yeah, fill that whole black cap with glue. So 
But one thing you're gonna do before you place this hair is once you take it out the bundle, you're gonna wanna split the track first. So like I said, this is the first thing you're gonna do before you comb out the hair and lay it on the head. So what you're gonna do is just take it, open it up. You're gonna see that it, it's, it's two tracks together. Um, how well you can see that. We just wanna take like a razor and just go in here. Splice it. And now you have the two separate tracks. And what you're gonna do is sometimes it's easier if you get one person to hold the other side um, and you hold one side and take a razor and, and cut it. So see I have my two ends. So I'm just gonna hold it that, like that. I'm gonna take my razor and I'll go through and I'll just splice this whole track out. So that way it basically doubles the amount of hair that you're gonna be using. And then you don't have way too much hair. If you try to put this hair on without splitting the track, you're gonna have way too much hair on the head. It's gonna be super, super thick. And so again, like I said, I'm just gonna go in, splice that all the way down. Like there. So you see I have two separate tracks now. Now I have one piece, and then you're gonna go in and you're gonna just comb this hair out. Just like you would take your wide tooth comb. And you're gonna comb it into an afro. So now when your hair is like this, it's ready to be placed on the head inside on the glue. All right, so after you split your track, um, it's time to go and start laying that hair. So I let my black hair glue dry a little bit, and now this track, when I put it on, it's just gonna stick right to the head. I'm not gonna have to worry about it falling off or having to hold it on for a few seconds. Um, my first track, I always start um, in the back. I run it around, and I make sure that the hair isn't falling forward into the glue. You wanna make sure that the hair is falling backwards, um, going right with, that, with the, uh, the hair that your client already has on the head. And after you get that first track down, you take the second one, you know, and you're gonna follow that in the same direction, going right around. Um, I like to do three in the back, and I like to come to the front, do three, um, because you want the hair to fall in all different directions, because you want, like I said, you want it to look as natural as possible. Um, if you go all of them from the back, going forward, you're gonna get to the front, all this hair is gonna be looking like it's falling backwards. So again, pay close attention to like the way that I'm laying these tracks. Um, I'm not doing, I'm, not, I'm really not doing it in any certain way, I guess, when it comes to like, you'll see when I do, uh, uh, like this is my third track right here in the back. And I'll go out, I'll do three in the front. Then I'll go to the side and I'll start from the side and I'll do, you know, two or three on the side, go to the other side, two or three. And you're really just working it into the middle. Now the black hair glue, man, it gets a little messy sometimes. But the thing is, you can just rub it right off your fingers. That's the thing like I don't like about the, the lace wig glue is the lace wig glue, once it gets on your hands, it's stuck. Like the ghost bond's a little easier to get off. And other lace wig glues that I've used, sometimes you have to stop, go wash your hands, you know, get it all off before you can continue. But the black hair glue, it rubs right off. Now when you put these tracks on in the front, you make sure that that hairline is all the way up to that wrap. And you're gonna start that first one, that first track right under that, that chunk of that hairline that you put on because you wanna make sure that track is in. And that's the reason you got um, a lot of the hair on the sides is because now you're putting it on, those tracks aren't gonna be visible when you be done with your unit. And so with this, this client, it only took me one bundle of hair. I took one bundle out, I split the whole thing like you just saw me do, and I uh, combed it all out because I want to get that afro texture. And then, um, like I said, I'm just taking pieces, 
know, I'll cut that track up, take a piece, boom, place it. You know, measure a piece out there, say about the exact same size, cut that, place it. Again, if you got questions, just comment on the video, man. I'm happy to answer any question that you got, any, anybody has. Here you see, I do my three tracks in the back. I'm in the front, I just place my third track in the front. Now I'm coming from the side here and just place the track from the side. So now I got hair falling backwards, I got hair falling forwards, and I got hair falling from the sides. And now that black hair glue is starting to dry up. It's starting really to get to the point to where it's about to be dried up. And so you, you got to kind of, like I said, have your hair prepped. So in that way, as soon as it starts to become tacky, you can go in and you can start to place that uh, those tracks right away. So then when you get to this end part, um, you know, it's just about all the way dry. If it does dry up all the way, just take a little bit more black hair glue and place it on. Like, I mean, I try not to use a whole bunch. I try not to keep stacking on top of, of each other. But if it gets, if it dries all the way, you really don't have much of a choice. So you see my track pieces just get smaller and smaller. I'm just laying them in there. And you're gonna see here in a second how I'm gonna close this out. Again, like I said before, man, uh, I mean, you, you can make a ton of money doing these units, especially if you're in the right city. You're in, a, you're in a big city, Dallas, Atlanta, LA, New York, somewhere like that. And you can get good at these. You're gonna make a ton of money just doing these. Um, yeah, that's just, that's just the way it is with this. It's a big market right now. Um, I got clients that, that fly from all over. I've, I've had clients from LA, um, New York, uh, we're at other places in California, Chicago. Um, kind of, kind of all over, all over the United States. That have flown up to me, drove up to get the uh, man weaves done. And you see, I'm just down to that little sliver. I'm just gonna take a couple straight pieces and just put them on there straight. Just put it on there, place it, cut it. It's really not too complicated of a process once you get the hang of it. But if that black hair glue is not tacky and you try to put those on, you're gonna get frustrated because you put the track on, you go grab your second track, put that on, and it's gonna move around or fall off, and then it just becomes a mess. So now you see how I'm closing it out. I got all my tracks on, and I'm just kind of just squeezing the hair together, and I'm just gonna start to kind of press it down to press um, just like the bottom, of, the bottom of the hair that's on the track, kind of press that into the glue a little bit. And then, um, you can't use a pick or a comb or anything to pick or comb this hair out. Uh, and so you're gonna have to use your fingers. And so right here, before I start to cut the hair or anything, I'm just gonna take my blow dryer and I wanna make sure that that glue is completely dry because you don't wanna accidentally pull the track out with your clippers because the glue wasn't completely dry. So take your blow dryer, press it down into the hair a little bit, pat the hair, um, and then before you cut it, you can use your fingers to kind of pick it out and kind of lay the hair how you want it. Came back on my magic clips, and now the rest of the process is just shaping the hair, cutting it down to the length that you want, or not you want it, but the length that your client wants it. Um, again, we want to try to make something look as natural as possible. Like, really, if somebody just walked in my shop right now and they seen him looking like this, they wouldn't even know that he had a man weave. They would think that he just hasn't got a haircut in, in months or something. Um, but yeah, it's all shaping from here on out. When you get to the sides, this is important, super important. When you get to the sides and the back, um, even, even in the front a little bit, you never want to cut up. Like I mean, when you shape a regular afro, you can cut up, you can cut any direction to shape it. With this man weave, you always want to cut, like I, I'll come in at, at the side sometimes, and then you know, I'll come in coming down. Coming, going down is the way that you really want to go. Um, when you come in sideways, you just really got to be careful. And that's something that with time and practice, you'll be able to, you know, start cutting it in different directions. But when you're starting out, make sure you only cut the hair down so you can get it to blend into that natural hair. Once you start cutting it up, then you're going to start seeing the gap in the, in the unit and where the real hair is. 
didn't mean to confuse anybody. I confuse myself sometimes when I talk. But again, you see, I'm, I'm here on the sides of the back, and I'm just cutting in a downward motion, and because I want that, I want the synthetic hair to fall down and blend into the real hair. Find the length that your client's happy with, that you're happy with. Um, this whole process is really, you know, you're the professional. You have the expertise on how you believe the unit should look. Your client is coming and looking for a certain look. Help them, you know, help them not look fake because people come in with fake expectations sometimes, and they'll come in with a bald head and they want to leave with an afro this big, and yeah. nobody's gonna believe that that's real. sideways direction I'm cutting in the down direction because I don't want to start lifting that hair and create that gap like I said you can leave leave more hair on the sides um, just just be cautious because you can always cut that down later and now I'm at that later point to where I can really start to cut this down and uh, blend it into the sides before earlier in the video this unit is moisture resistant so you can your client they can go to the gym work out sweat I, I recommend if they shower to not get in and scrub their hair to try to shampoo their hair um, I actually had one guy gave me a unit he asked me can I brush my hair can I pick my hair no you don't want to pick your hair with a comb you don't want to brush your hair if you're gonna pick it just have to tell them to use their fingers they can pick it out you can curl sponge it you can use your fingers to twist it up um, you know, you can style it. I'm not gonna style it in this video. I'll do another one here in the future where I do like a part and a style. But for like this first one, I just wanna put it out. I wanna show you guys the basics. Um, and then we'll get into the more complicated stuff here as we go. So after you get the hair cut down, um, you're gonna go in, take your liners, you're gonna line this up just like you would a regular haircut. But the only thing is you can't push this line back. You gotta stay on that line that you created where the glue was because now, the hair is set in the glue and you're not gonna be able to um, you know you're not gonna be able to push it back so like I said that line that you set in the beginning is important because if you didn't set it correctly you know it's gonna come out it's gonna show your final result oh again let me get back to that client they had a client he came in he's like can I shampoo can I brush my hair can I comb it out whatever I tell him no you can't do any of that stuff give him the hair unit he goes home, he's calling me an hour later. Hey, I took a shower, I shampooed my hair, I need to get my I need to get a new unit done. <laughs> Man, I was upset. I was upset, I ain't gonna lie. But you know, I took care of me, came back, it wasn't free though. Cause I told him, I told him, you can't shampoo it. But people aren't gonna listen, man. People are gonna go, they're gonna do what they're gonna do. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you just give them all the knowledge you have. So then, you know, you set them up for success. Um, then they can't blame you when they come back and they did something, you know, they did something they weren't supposed to do with their unit. But you see, I'm just lining it up as natural as can be. Um, get your stuff like, like I said, old pair of detailers or old pair of trimmers, whatever. Um, old, pair of, old pair of clippers that you can cut the hair with because you don't want to use your good stuff on it. It's just going to dull your blades out. They're not going to cut the same. Now for enhancements, um, in this video, like with this client in particular, I didn't really feel like I needed too many, I, I don't feel like I needed to put any any other enhancement in just topic. Like I feel like the unit came together pretty well. Um, it looked pretty natural and I didn't need to go in and, and use Kiss Express or my, uh, my air gun or anything to try to, to, try to sell it anymore. Um, and so I just, I just used topic in this video and I'm just gonna go through like I do in my other videos. After you put the topic on, you're gonna go through and you're gonna retrace your line that you already made. Again, it's your preference, it's your client's preference. I've had people that don't want any color spray, they like it, you know, just like it is the way it comes out naturally. I got other people, they, they want that spray. This client particularly, he really didn't care. Um, but when I looked at the unit, I was like, 
you know, it really doesn't need, I, I really don't need to put any Kiss Express onto it, so I'll just throw a little topic. And then another thing with that topic, that topic, it gets to that glue and it sticks on that glue, so it lasts a little bit longer than um, topic regularly would. Again, just going in, you know, retracing the line that I already created uh, to, to finish it out. So yeah, here's the end result of the man weave. Um, again, this is just the first one. I'm gonna be putting out uh, tons of others. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, this has been Adrian the Barber. That's all I got for this video. I hope I taught you guys something. Um, good luck with your first man weaves. Let me know how they go. Send me pictures. Comment if you're lost, if you got questions. But that's all I got for you guys today. Until the next video, this has been Adrian the Barber and I'm out.